So Concrete Genie, one of the most important things in it is that the player gets to make artwork and creatures and it comes to life in the walls. And one of the reasons that we wanted to do that is lots of people on the team are huge fans of Little Big Planet and the way that it makes being creative not just really fun but also rewarding and incredibly accessible. The thing that, that I learned is how much you care about something that you've made. And that was why we wanted to bring that into Concrete Genie, because for us, it's a way of making the player experience the pain of being bullied. When the characters in the game start ruining your artwork and, and hurting the creatures that you've made, you're extra invested. With Little Big Planet and with Dreams, it is mm -hmm. that feeling that you get from making something mm -hmm. and manifesting it. That's, like, that's what, literally making a, your own dream come true, isn't it, yeah. in some form. You don't have to worry about having an end result, it's just the act of actually using it yeah. is entertaining and fun. Yeah. You've got the depth there and the complexity, but the point is there's an entry level which is a bit more fun and playful. That's the key balance, I think, to get yeah. is that there's a danger of everything, looks everything looking a bit the same, so yeah. you kind of want that, the ability for people to sort of discover things that you didn't think were possible. We had an interesting issue with the, the kind of blank canvas problem where if you get somebody like me who has zero artistic talent in real life, sometimes it's hard to know where to start. The creatures that you make, they now communicate with you and ask for things. Oh. And so they will ask for a cherry tree or put down some grass, but they won't tell you where to put it or how to do it. Do you have to judge that someone's actually managed to draw a cherry tree? No, right, okay. we don't care what you do with it. As soon as you've done one, it doesn't what it matter what it looks like, the creature's happy. Oh, like, yay! Okay. Another thing that's been tricky for us is to get that line between agency and assistance just right so that it always turns into something amazing and beautiful, but you still feel like you did it. You know, a lot of the brushes will respond to how tightly you're gripping the right trigger to paint with it and things yeah. like that. The thing I'm really looking forward to with Dreams is obviously getting it out. Just desperate to get it in the hands of the community. Mm -hmm. I just want to sit back and see what they make. Yeah. And I just know, I, I already know that what they make is going to be better than what we've made with it. That will make me very, very happy. I can't wait as well. Just, just the glimpse of people playing the game here at E3 has shown me how abstract people can be with things that I thought were really kind of detailed and finite, you know. There's too much of a stigma attached to being creative. It's not, yeah. there's nothing amazing about it at all. No. People are scared. Right. But most people are creative without even realising that, I think. I completely agree. For the players.